Now let's discuss load versus settlement curve for the sandy and clay soil in detail. Now let's see load versus settlement curve. Now we will find the maximum load carrying capacity of the soil. We have load values and settlement values. We will draw load versus settlement curve. On the x axis take the load and on y axis take the settlement. It is observed that at the starting curve is linear then large settlement is observed. After the application of the load dense sand or gravel takes more load and settlement increases gradually. After a point sharp increase in the settlement is observed. This point indicates that the soil is sheared at that point or this point is treated as failure point of soil. Hence in case of sandy soil bearing capacity of plate is clearly known. Means at particular point failure is observed. It is possible for stiff soil and OCC soil. Here we can see two curves. First curve is for sandy soil and second curve is for clay soil. In case of sandy soil failure point can be easily detected. But in case of the clay soil curve is very smooth and it shows progressive settlement. Hence the failure point cannot be detected easily. To detect the failure point we can draw log versus log plot for load and settlement. Now we will see case 2 for loose sand and soft clay. From the results obtained in plate load test, logarithmic graph is drawn for load and settlement. Load is taken on x axis and corresponding settlement is taken on y axis. The load versus settlement curve for clay soil is very smooth and it doesn't show any sharp point like in case of case 1 and settlement is very gradual in nature. This soil shows progressive settlement and at a point settlement becomes constant. Graph is almost a vertical line. In dense soil sudden failure was observed. Hence ultimate capacity of plate is clearly known. But in case of loose soil it is difficult to find the failure point because of progressive settlement. Hence to obtain the proper failure point we can use a log log scale on x and y axis. The ultimate load for the plate is indicated by a break on log log plot between load and settlement. Now the graph is linear at starting and then it will change its slope. Curve breaks at a point and and load corresponding to breaking point is known as ultimate bearing capacity of plate. From this ultimate load for plate we can determine the ultimate bearing capacity and safe bearing capacity of soil. The ultimate bearing capacity of proposed foundation QF can be obtained from the following relation. For clay soil QF is equal to QP. Here QP is the ultimate bearing capacity of the plate. Now we will see the calculation part to find the bearing capacity and settlement of the foundation from the plate load test results for sandy as well as clay soil. Calculation of bearing capacity from plate load test. This is bearing capacity of plate not the bearing capacity of actual footing. Size of footing on site will be different and hence we need to find out bearing capacity for footing. Now let's consider case 1 bearing capacity calculation for sandy soil or dense sand and gravel or we can say cohesion less soil or sandy soil. First we will see notations. Here BF is width of foundation, BP is width of plate, QUP means ultimate bearing capacity for plate and QUF means ultimate bearing capacity of proposed foundation. So we will see case 1 
ultimate bearing capacity depends upon the size of the footing means QUF is not equal to QUP here. Hence, by using the linearization method, the ultimate bearing capacity of the proposed foundation QUF can be obtained from following relation. That is, that is QUF divided by QUP is equal to BF divided by BP. Now, ultimate bearing capacity for footing is equal to ultimate load for plate into width of pit BF divided by size of plate BP. After rearranging this formula, we will get this relation QUF is equal to QUP into BF divided by BP. Its unit will be in kilonewton per meter square. And finally, the point at which graph breaks can be used to determine ultimate load of the plate, which on later can be utilized to determine ultimate bearing capacity and safe bearing capacity of the soil. The safe bearing capacity of the soil is calculated by dividing the ultimate bearing capacity with a factor of safety 2 or 3. The formula is safe bearing capacity is equal to ultimate bearing capacity divided by factor of safety. Case 2 for loose sand and soft clay. In case of clay soil, ultimate bearing capacity does not depend upon size of the footing. Hence, we can write QUF is equal to QUP, where QUF is ultimate bearing capacity of proposed foundation. Bearing capacity calculation for clay soils. In this case, ultimate bearing capacity of proposed foundation is equal to ultimate load for plate. That is, QUF is equal to QUP. We can also calculate the settlement for given load from plate load test results as follows. Case 1, foundation settlement calculation for clay soil. It can be obtained from following relation. Settlement of foundation SF is equal to SP into BF divided by BP. Now case 2, foundation settlement for sandy soil. It can be obtained by using this relation. Hope you like the information given in this video. If you are watching my channel for first time, then click on subscribe and share with all your friends. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind. Vande Matram.